Tonight, a Delray Beach mom mourns the confirmed death of one daughter in a Canadian mountain landslide in the news that a second daughter is missing and presumed dead. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank is monitoring the latest. He's joining us live from the feed room where he's taking a look at the satellites tonight. Evan? And Kelly, Michael, we've been getting video in all night of last week's mudslide in western Canada. Delray Beach chiropractor Lynn McDowell is there now in British Columbia watching the search for her loved ones. Her friends here are lending a helping hand. The after effects of a landslide that is feared to have wiped out three members of a Delray Beach woman's family. It's just like it was like almost like it made a beeline directly for their home. Lynn McDowell of Delray Beach is in western Canada now watching crews search in a little tourist town called Johnson's Landing. The body of her ex-husband Valentine Weber was found last night under the wreckage of his home. Crews found one of her daughter's bodies today. The search continues for the other. 17-year-old Rachel and 21-year-old Diana had been there to visit with their father. It's just overwhelming to think that, you know, any mom would have to go the rest of her life without her children. Kelly Keisha and Lisa Paolo run an organization for female-owned businesses in South Florida called The Woman Club. McDowell was a member. We've raised over $3,000 today alone. The Woman Club founders say they're asking their members to support McDowell. It's fitting, they say, because years ago, McDowell helped start another group called Sisterhood of Support. The goal was always that if ever there was a tragedy or some major challenge, that we would come together as a sisterhood and support whoever was in need. They're hoping to raise enough money at a fundraiser on Saturday so that McDowell can focus on dealing with her personal loss and not have unpaid mortgage payments and bills when she gets back to Delray Beach. Margaret Ann Lembo has been in close contact with friends of McDowell. When people ask her how you're doing, it's sort of like, how can she be doing? She's a mom. Two children dead, her ex husband dead. At any second in your life, this could happen to anyone. I'm told that the search for the victims has been slow going because the house is under several feet of mud and the top of that mud has hardened. They're doing the search by hand. The rescue crews are there because they don't want to risk using heavy machinery and disturbing the remains. In the feed room tonight, Evan Axelbank, WPTV News Channel 5.